Hey friends, Alan here with another Studio One quick tip. And today I wanted to show you how to make a bandpass sweep using Studio One stock plugins. Let's dig in. So here is what we are working with. I've made a simple arrangement of a few loops and some drums. So let's hear what we have now. Simple as that. So what I wanted to do is make a band sweep through this section of uh, thin sounds, whatever they are. And there is no stock plugin that is basically a band filter, but that's not a problem usually when you just want to make it a static band filter. You just add an EQ and then you, you know, cut some lows you cut some highs, maybe change the slope, and here you have your, your band. So with this, it would sound something like this. But what I wanted to do is for this thing to move. So if I want to make this band move, I have to automate both low cut and high cut at the same time. So this is either two automations, which is doable, but is suboptimal, or we have to find a way to make them work at once. So one way to make them move at once is to go here and assign both of those to a, uh, to a marker knob. So we need to add two targets to it. So we take low cut, at low cut frequency here, and then we take high cut, and I high cut frequency here. And now we need to adjust the ranges that uh, our frequencies move through. So for low cut, let's say it's from somewhere here to say around 1K or something like that. And for high cut, we will make it like from 4K to say 10K. So now let's see what we got here. So now when we move this one knob, it moves not perfectly. We can, you know, adjust the curves, but you get the idea. Now if we try to automate this, what happens is we're actually creating two automations. So let's try to write it to the track. As you can see, it does the trick. It still creates two automations, which then we have to edit, and you know, and also to get this band to move uh, at the same pace on both sides is uh, a lot of precision work. So this is a workable solution, but it's not not exactly easy to implement. So let's see if we can do it some other way. So instead of using ProQ, let's try to use Auto Filter. So auto filter is a bit uh, more advanced thing than just a filter. So it lets you make a filter that reacts to the LFO or to uh, envelope follower. But the cool thing about auto filter is that you can also disable this following. So now if we set LFO following to zero and then envelope filter following to zero, and say we set a filter to say analog 24. And here we can adjust the type of filter we have. Yeah, so if we put it in the middle, we will have a band pass filter as you can see here. So let's add a spectrum meter to see what's happening uh, when we play this. Let's put it, say, here. 
and let's play and move the knob here. And obviously if we try to automate it, it's just one knob that's Let's record it. As you can see, now we've created a bun filter pass with just one line on automation. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you like this tip, please like, subscribe, share it, uh, ring the bell, all the great stuff. If you have ideas on how to make it in a more efficient way or using other techniques, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.